What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. And I am going to do a reading for cancer. Reading for Cancer, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel. I ask you to see your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages for Cancer. I'm going to pull from my Kipper deck. Let's get some messages from my Kipper deck. Let's see what's going on. Spirit is telling me to pull from my Kipper deck. Okay, I'm going to shuffle the cards a few times. What's going on for Cancer Spirit? Please give me clear and precise messages. What's going on for Cancer? Some of you are very enlightened or you're going through some type of spiritual awakening. Spirit is saying you need to cleanse. You need to cleanse your home. You could have drawn space out from several people. Yeah, we have confidence here. So some of you could be going through some type of spiritual awakening or you could be transitioning out of something you could be transitioning into like a new home we have success spirit is saying do not worry because you're going to be successful whatever you're going through exactly you're somebody that's seen in high honor i feel like somebody could be watching you this person is in despair they could be watching you like i said because you're on the on this on this path you're on this journey here and you're going to receive some type of great fortune this person is always thinking about you i feel like this person is always thinking about you and they're always thinking about your uh your great fortune this person wants to stop your blessings cancer yeah because they know that you're about to get some type of sudden wealth you're this mature woman here we have poverty in the reverse somebody doesn't want you to be successful I'm seeing yeah because you've sailed on into the distant horizons yeah yeah this was a false person in your life yeah that's pissed off and angry because you're about to get some type of unexpected income and you're gonna meet a, a king of cups I'm hearing of a very mature male so keep walking down your pathway keep walking on your journey because you are the privileged lady whoever this is that's trying to block you or stop you this person could be facing jail time or this person wants you to face jail time face jail time like I said somebody wants to send you a message I feel like whoever this is this person wants to send you a message because because they want to block you and stop you. I'm also hearing that this person wants you to stop speaking. So you could be a high priestess. You could be somebody that's very intuitive. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, like I said, keep being determined. Yeah, I feel like this person idolizes you. And they're pissed off because you're at peace. And they can't stop you. And they can't play off in your energy. Yeah, you're somebody that's very packed. Uh, passionate i'm hearing you're also very creative yeah and you're very balanced i'm hearing with the temperance yeah yeah like i said you're seen in high honor with the hair offense. yeah whoever this is is about to go through judgment or they could be experiencing judgment if they don't leave you alone i feel like this could also be somebody's karmic that's very angry at you there's a lot of chaos magic going on here Somebody could have put you in a third party situation. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please tell me what's going on for cancer. Yeah. You could be this emperor here, male or female. So you could be, I'm, I'm hearing a female that's a divine masculine. You can be a male as well. I'm hearing that you're somebody that's very balanced and you're also very abundant. Yeah, somebody's karmic is very jealous of you. This person wants to fight you. Somebody could have threatened you over the uh, holiday weekend. I feel like this could be a karmic couple that could be threatening you or working behind the scenes. Yeah, this karmic couple here could be threatening you or working behind the scenes together to try to stop your great fortune. I'm hearing somebody is destined to be a millionaire. Yeah, like I said, you're somebody that's very balanced and you've been in hermit mode focusing on yourself. I feel like you're very unbothered. I feel like you're very unbothered and you're very strong and you're not worried about this bullshit. Yeah, this is devil here. There is a devil. I'm also seeing that this devil here could be facing some type of jail time. I'm hearing somebody could have tried to get you wrapped up in the justice system. But there is a judge here that's about to call, call, 
called judgment. Yeah, I feel like several people are involved in this. I feel like a lot of people are waiting on your downfall. There are a lot of people here, Cancer, that's waiting on your downfall. They're wanting to stop you. They're wanting to ruin you. I feel like they're waiting on some type of celebration I'm seeing. I feel like people are, are like adamant about your downfall. Like I said, you're this emperor here. I'm hearing you're a boss. You're standing in your power. So even, so even if you are a female, even if you are a female, I feel like you have a boss like energy. You have very a lot of masculinity. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like people are waiting on your downfall. They're waiting on 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 some type of celebration. I'm hearing ritual. Some type of ritual could have took taken place. I'm hearing there's a lot of witches and warlocks involved with look, I can't make this up with trying to stop you and keep you stuck, but I'm hearing it's not working. I'm hearing somebody wants to take your great fortune. Yeah, because you're this temperance. You're Like I said, I said that earlier. You're in this temperance energy. You're very balanced. You could be an earth angel as well. I'm hearing you have your priorities straight. I feel like a lot of people are jealous. This could also be like government officials. So if this is not friends or family or anything like that, this could also be government officials. Somebody doesn't want you to be in love. Somebody does not want you to be happy as well. Not only do they not want you to have money, they don't want you to find the love of your life. They don't want you to meet anybody i feel like this could be the only pinnacle that you're missing i feel like you i feel like you're at the nine of pinnacles i feel like you're very abundant and self-sufficient on your own you're just missing a lover here yeah like i said keep standing in your power you're very strong whoever this magician is so i feel like this could be a group of people so take what resonate lead what don't that want you in despair or this could be like government officials i feel like there is a lot of people that's very intimidated by your mind i feel like you're somebody that's very powerful you speak the truth you could be a whistleblower or some sort i'm seeing there is a lot of people that's intimidated by your intellect i'm seeing that you're somebody that's very smart and you call out fuck shit and bullshit you understand understand trichnology i feel like you know everybody's tricks and trades you know what people are trying to do to get over on you i'm hearing somebody could be trying to get over on your children i'm here and watch your children so if your children walks to a bus stop to go to school i'm here and be careful there could be a creep that could be watching children in your neighborhood that could be for somebody i don't know who that's for yeah i feel like a lot of these people want you to self-sabotage yourself i'm also seeing here that a lot of people wants to keep throwing darts at you and and throwing darts and, and bullshit and fuck shit on your name I feel like people want you to just stand there and take it. I feel like at one point in your life, you could have took a lot of abuse. You could have been humiliated. You could have dealt with a lot of abuse, traumatic events, but you're no longer there anymore. And these people are, are, are not happy about that because I feel like people want you to, people want to abuse you and they want you to suck, shut the fuck up and not say anything. But no, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're somebody that's very determined. Somebody's car could could have gotten repossessed and they're back walking again. I feel like whoever had a car, so somebody could have had a luxury car. I'm seeing this in my third eye. Somebody could have had a luxury car and this person could have talked about you maybe because you didn't, angel number 808 on the clock. This person could have talked about you because maybe you didn't have a fancy car or maybe you didn't have a car at all. I feel like because this person talked about you, they no longer have a car anymore. This could be somebody's karmic, somebody's karmic that think they're better than you. Yeah, I told you there's a karmic couple here. These two fucking fools. Yeah, I feel like somebody's in the justice system is over your case. There could be you could be going through some type of court case. There is a judge here that's all over this. I've been picking up on a private investigator as well. Yeah, you are this empress or emperor here. I'm also seeing that this could be your baby mother. This can be somebody's baby mother or baby father as well. I'm hearing that somebody's baby father could be in the closet. They could be gay. I feel like somebody could have made multiple children. Somebody could have got a emperor empress pregnant but i don't think they are a empress they're really a queen of wands i'm seeing here that somebody i feel like somebody's baby father is coming is coming up like coming out like a bitch like a female because they're very fucking childish disrespectful as well look i told you here go this queen of bones here this fucking karmic energy here yeah a lot of people are pissed off because you are a high priestess somebody could have gotten their car repossessed over the weekend i'm hearing somebody was at a some type of family event a barbecue over the labor day weekend and they got their either this person got their car towed or they got their car repossessed i'm here for fucking with you i feel like this person yeah this is a major tower moment i'm also seeing here that a lot of you are about to experience some type of breakthrough you're about to get some type of breakthrough in your finances i'm here and keep moving forward don't stop 
out. Yeah, this King of Blades here, this and this Queen of Bones here have have constantly spoke on your name so this could be i feel like several people are involved in this situation this could be a ex of yours this could be friends and family and also the judicial system i feel like a lot of people are intimidated by your intellect i feel like you're somebody that's extremely smart extremely extremely talented and i feel like a lot of people are intimidated by your wisdom angel number 10 10 on the clock because you're somebody that speaks the truth you could be some type of whistleblower yeah I feel like whoever this ex is of yours, somebody is wanting to come towards you with an offer, but they don't have anything to give. I feel like they're wanting to come towards you. This person is trying, they're, they're, this person and several people want you to be in despair. I feel like these people are trying to think of ways to stop you. I'm hearing chaos, magic, spell work. Somebody is in despair. It's like everything that they want for you is happening to them. Somebody is in despair. They want you to be angry. They want you to be depressed. They want you to be heartbroken, but this is the energy that they're in this person is trying to think of a way to come towards you because the spell work is not working but i feel like you're going to reject this person i'm also seeing here that if you could be dealing with corrupt uh, uh court like a court case or corrupt individuals they could be po postponing postponing excuse me they could be postponing your money of some sort. Angel number 11, 11 on the clock. They could, in 11, 10, they could be postponing your money or something like that on purpose. Yeah, they don't want you to be abundant. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people want you to walk away. I feel like a lot of people want you to walk away and, and, and continue to take abuse. It's like a lot of people want you to keep your mouth shut. They don't want you to talk. They don't want you to speak. It's like they don't want you at the top of this wheel. They want you to continue to go through karma, bad karma. It's like God is not, God did not ordain this. God didn't. I feel like if this is an ex, God did not ordain this person to be your kingdom spouse. This is some type of karmic cycle that needs to be closed. But what I'm hearing is, is that God did not, it did not, God didn't mean for you to have a life that's not abundant. God wants you to be abundant and God wants you to be happy. And it's like these people are trying to call judgment on your over your life. And spirit is saying no. No, you are blessed. You're going to be blessed. It's nothing that's gonna stop to stop you. Yeah. Somebody got their car repossessed, man. Somebody got their car repossessed or somebody got their car sold. I feel like somebody has been living out of their means here. Yeah, somebody has been spending money on like uh, fancy clothes, cars, shoes, jewelry instead of paying their damn bills. I feel like somebody has their priorities fucked up and they're jealous because you have your priorities fucked up and you're not easily controlled. So if you're dealing with some type of court case or you're dealing with like local government officials or something like that, they're pissed off because you have your priority straight you're very strong-minded and they can't manipulate you i feel like there is some type of money laundering going on some type of uh money ring laundering somebody i feel like if you're dealing with like a, a corrupt job um a uh, co-workers uh, or just i'm not even gonna say co-workers like uh people that's in authority so you could be somebody that's been abused by authority or people or the people that you're dealing with are trying to abuse you but the abuse is not working i feel like these people these government officials or the, the local uh social services departments or anything of that nature because that's what i'm hearing i'm hearing social services these people are used to being abusive i feel like these people are so used to being abusive that they have gotten comfortable with being abusive towards people and i feel like you're somebody that's too strong you're too strong-minded and you're too strong-willed and i feel like whatever the, the abuse tactics that they're trying to do to gain control over you is not working and it's pissing them off and they're angry about that i feel like these people could be staying up all night as we speak right now thinking about you they could be dreaming about you i feel like if one of these government official or social services workers if, if one of these people are up at night they have figured out i feel like somebody is going to dream Somebody is going to have a dream and they're going to find out you're an earth angel or you're chosen or or, they, or or spirit is trying to warn them not to mess with you because you're somebody that's that's highly intelligent. Yeah. And you're somebody that's not to be fucked with. I feel like you could be the, these people's karma. They feel there is a lot of people stuck. There's a lot of people stuck on you. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are jealous of your intellect. That's what I keep hearing, like jealous of your intellect. You're you're extremely intelligent. You're extremely smart. And I keep hearing whistleblower, but somebody's 
somebody's car angel number 1441 and 1444 on the clock somebody's car in angel number 1443 spirit want me to say that but somebody's car was repossessed or towed i feel like there is a karmic energy here that constantly speaks negative about you this could be a male or female or this could be a karmic couple one of these in particular people you've closed out a karmic cycle with but i feel like so many people not even just this couple or this person or these people are keep are trying to send spell work to prey on your downfall i feel like you know what's best for you you know what you want to do you have a plan angel number 1515 on the clock you have a plan you know what you want to do you know what's best for you yeah and you know that you know what it takes for you to be able to become abundant you know what you know god's plan for you and i feel like these people want to control your life it's like these people want you to do what they want you to do but they don't realize yeah this can be hidden from you this kid, you can already like feel this. I feel like a lot of people want to control you. And I feel like if you get a negative feeling around certain people, spirit is saying you need to remove yourself because a lot of these people are working behind the scenes to try to stop you. It's like people want to tell you how to live your life, but you can't do that because you know, the quickest way to fail is to tell God your plan. And I feel like, you know, that you know that you have to abide by God rules. You have to do what God says, but a lot of these people want to play God in your life and they're not God. They're just like, human or a regular person like you you and me but these people want to control you and they're pissed off because you're very intelligent you're highly intelligent and you're uh, some type of sort of whistleblower you're also a high high priestess and you're not somebody to be controlled i feel like yeah 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 it's like there is a karmic energy here that wants you to be angry they want you to be heartbroken but this is the energy that they're in yeah I feel like if you're dealing with some type of corrupt uh, individuals like uh, 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 government officials, social service people, I don't know, anybody that's in authority, if you're dealing with certain type of people like that, they're in, they're highly, highly intimidated by you. I don't know if you just got a new job and you had to go to HR or something like that and the HR people were pissed off because you beat them at their own game. I feel like somebody could, if you could have had a conference call or something with somebody, there could have been a whole group of staff members like... Like, so if you had a conference conference call with a government official or if you had a conference call with social service workers, I don't know what type of work you do or what 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 if you get assistance or something like that. I don't know. Only you only you would know that. But if you had some type of conference call with these people, I feel like the whole office heard you talk. The whole office heard you talk. Every employee in the building, I feel like you were put on speaker unintentionally. And I feel like when these people heard you talk, they were extremely shocked at how intelligent you were, how you carry yourself. They also think you're very classy. They know not to fuck with you. They're also very afraid of you and intimidated by you. They know, I feel like you're, I feel like you're a warning. So if you've been dealing with some corrupt individuals in like a local government or things like that, I feel like you are a warning to these people to stop fucking with people's lives and trying to control people. I feel like this corrupt organization is treating people like criminals. They want they want to control people's life and control people's destiny. And you're not somebody that's going to be controlled. I feel like spirit is nudging on these people to let them know that you're somebody that's chosen. You could be some type of earth angel here. But I feel like these people know. I feel like warning comes before destruction and i feel like you were sent to these people so they can wake up to stop being corrupted and stop mistreating the poor i'm hearing i mean i don't know why i'm hearing the poor but you were sent to wake these people up i'm hearing some of these people are gonna get it and some of these people are not gonna get it but i'm seeing that there are the majority of these people are very much afraid of you yeah in your growth and i'm also hearing your spirituality yeah this is this is very frustrating for you right now this could be very 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 frustrating because you feel like it's blocking your happiness i feel like a lot of people could be saying that you don't trust people and you're not that easy to open up that could be true but i feel like you 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 trust it's, it's like you do it with good intentions i feel like you know the games like you know as an african-american or just anybody even if you're not a minority but this predominantly goes on with african-americans you know african-americans struggle in their daily life and daily activities dealing with racism and somebody that's non-black or not a minority they wouldn't possibly understand some do sympathize some don't but i feel like you know just with your daily activities you know going to work going to the store um, um pumping your gas i mean whatever the hell you do 
during the day. You know what I'm saying? You have to deal with constant judgment and discrimination because, you know, unfortunately, some people, and I'm not a racist at all, you know, but um, it, it just is what it is. I have to speak the truth. You know, some people are so stereotypical and, 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 and they stereotype and they're judgmental. So, you know what I'm saying? They want to cause you anxiety. So, if, or, or you could be going through anxiety. Spirit is saying to pray. It's going to be okay. But a lot of people are so judgmental like they think all groups of people are certain are a certain way like all black women are loud and ghetto and obnoxious i mean that's a stereotype that goes around like all black men are felons and in and out of jail and they all are drug dealers and gang bangers and all of that shit and that's not necessarily true yeah these people have been warned by spirit to stop i feel like they have gotten the warning and if they don't stop which i believe some of these people have gotten the warning i feel like you have brought to these people attention that they are corrupted and i feel like you're too intelligent for these people you're too smart you're highly highly intelligent intelligent you are some sort of whistleblower i feel like god has led you to these people to bring to their attention we have caution here that they need to stop being corrupted these look i can't make these up these people have gotten too comfortable with being corrupted and, cur and ruining people lives and hurting people spirit is saying that you are some type of whistleblower you somebody that speaks the truth yeah and all you're trying to do is move forward with your life i feel like a lot of these people are treating the poor like criminals and they're not criminals and i feel like they're doing that based off their ethnicity in their race and i feel like and, and 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 i hate to make this a race video i hate to so quote unquote like other races say pull the race card but i have to speak the truth a lot of these people so if you're dealing with some type of social social service organization or you you're low income or you work for some type of social service or organization or organization excuse me or you work for the local government or you're dealing with the local government i feel like these people have put have put certain races in class in, in different classes and and what I mean by that is, is that they may treat uh, black women or black men a certain way and Caucasian people a certain way, Hispanic people a certain way. I don't know if they treat all of these people bad. I don't know if they treat all of these people good, but I don't really think it's good. But I feel like they they use different tactics based on ethnicity and race. So even if they do treat a group of Caucasian people uh, ignorant and corrupted they use different tactics if they treat the black people mean and corrupted they use different tactics i feel like they use different tactics as stereotypes and i feel like you have brought into this i feel like you're very mysterious too i feel like these people cannot figure you out they're trying to figure out i feel like they can be researching your information and your background angel number 222 they they know some they know that you're somebody that's a star that's highly intelligent i feel like these people can be researching your information your personal information they want to know what happened to you they also want to know how in the hell are you so smart so if you're a black woman or a black man i'm gonna keep it 100 they could be saying how in the hell is this nigger or nigga niggette so fucking smart how did the hell did they get all of this knowledge but this is the thing if you're somebody that's a minority and you dealt with a lot of fucking corruption and you dealt with a lot of bullshit that will most happen make you that will most likely make you turn you into being conscious god will reveal certain things to you it's like you can't continue to use trick knowledge and set traps for people and then expect them not to ke catch on to the tricks and the games and the traps it's like you know what i'm saying if you ask a man a black male that's been in prison in and out of his life he knows how the prison system works he knows what to do and what what not to do it's if you dealt with a woman, a black woman is, I mean, you know, any type of, uh, of judgment and stereotypical abuse, you know what I'm saying? I'm just using this for an example, but just know you are protected because there's going to be a depth to this situation. I feel like these people don't even want to deal with you anymore because you're too intelligent and you can't be controlled. These people have been trained. I don't know if you work with these people or you're low income or you're dealing with these people. I don't know. Only you know that, but these, the, the locals, whatever, wherever you're at and wherever you're from, from, because I feel like this goes on in the 50 states these people have been trained by the higher ups to be uh derogatory judgmental to treat to treat certain minority groups as criminals to say people are lazy or this that and the third i don't know but yeah these people also know that you have a passion and a hunger for success but it's like certain people want you to do things your their way it's like you know uh this these people could also be calling you crazy as well so if you can suffer from some type of mental health issues or something like that it's like let me say this a lot of people don't understand the difference between mental health and mental retardation now in the black community most people don't seek out help because you know they're embarrassed and stuff like that but mental health is real it's like a lot of people think if you have a beautiful heroin 
weave or if you if you're natural or not even that white white black uh, hispanic pakistan whatever asian whatever the fuck color you are but uh, uh, uh predominantly in the black community this is stereotype stiped but excuse me stereotype but whoever you are a lot of people think if you're very beautiful or if you're very handsome if you look a certain way then 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 it's nothing wrong with you because they can't see the wound they can't see the pain or the the, the mental health or things that you're going through a lot of people think if you look good if you look a certain way then you're not sick but a lot of people are sick you know some of the happiest some of the, the excuse me some of the most saddest depressed people put a smile on their face every day but then two three days later you find them dead in their home next to a suicide side note because they not really happy because when they try to go seek help and they try to get the things they need they need these corrupted individuals have been trained by the higher ups to abuse people of, of different minorities they have been trained to stereotype people and judge people and I feel like whoever you are whether you work with these people or you're getting some type of services or help from these people you have waken a lot of people up to the tricks and the tactics and the bullshit that they're doing and that they this is a warning spirit is saying this is caution whoever these people are they need to stop this is a warning warning comes before destruction and I feel like if they try to mess with you because you're somebody that's standing in your power you're very strong and you're not to be fucked with you're some type of spiritual whistleblower or, or something like that if these people don't stop they're going to be in a lot of fucking playing for trying to do magic and spell work you have brought to these people attention that they need to go back to the drawing board and look at the ethics in in in, in, in whatever the word i can't think of another word but the ethics in the rule book in the word in the in the in the because you know i feel like these people have been making up their own rules to abuse people they're not even going by the handbook they're not even doing the proper uh uh regiments and 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 and, and, and i don't fucking know the word y'all understand what i'm saying they're not doing stuff the right way they're doing stuff backhanded they're mistreating minorities and they're wrong and uh yeah you guys keep resting in, in rejuvenating and keeping the faith okay because you have caused these people to have to look at themselves all right my name is the comedic medium prophet